welcome back uh, friends uh, this is emmanuel mendu in this video we will see um, how we use um, q in c sharp um, so q has a um, couple of methods like enqueuing dequeuing and peaking and also a couple of other other things like contains or a etc and we also have a few properties like how to find a count in the queue like that um i'll show them uh, in this video uh, let's jump on to visual studio so i know uh, you guys are already familiar like queue is uh, first in first out um and whenever you put a, uh, whenever we insert an element to queue it always comes uh, first out uh, when you dequeue or when you are um, <clears throat> when you want to uh, uh, remove one element from the queue so let's uh, let's add a system collection. So I'll remove this generic one so that um, yeah the queue is belonging to that system dot collection. So I will use uh, I will create a variable um, with queue. Okay. So here I will what I will do I will enqueue uh, few of uh, few of uh, uh, numbers. Let's say. I will add, I will enqueue suppose 100 like in my previous video I showed you how to use a stack um, so 50 40 200 so yeah so like so I'm using this uh, one console application using dotnet framework a uh, simple dotnet framework um, C sharp for this programming is for completely C sharp if you are looking at C++ or something else but um, so here I'm enqueuing um, the data here let's say if I want to um, know how much the count is let's let's uh, find out that so I'll use number of elements in Q Let's make it simple. Uh, it says Q dot count. Sorry. So this is not method. This is a property. Sorry. So that's uh, that gives us a count. I'll just stop the console window. That's why I added a line, read line. <coughs> So when you run this program, you will see now what is the count of your element. Sorry. Maybe I stopped it. So that will that will give you the number of number of elements in the queue. OK, so the count property will give you the number of elements. So now what I will do, I will try to dequeue one. I'll say console dot right line again. Um, DQ element is Q dot DQ. <clears throat> so let's see, <clears throat> let's see how this will work. Uh, number of elements in Q. After the queue, okay. Let's see. So when you run this one now, <clears throat> so you see um, the first first starting I, I enqueued hundred. The first in element is hundred. When I dequeue, the hundred is the first element is coming out. That's right. why it always called first in first out. Okay. So this is uh, one. So this is how like we use like count and dequeuing. So when you want to dequeue everything, like it dequeues <coughs> all items, um, and also you can use uh, another method. I'll show you a peak. Uh, peak. Um, peak as a method. Peak method. And peak is like it, it. It will give you the the whichever when before you uh, DQ, you can say you can peak, make making sure that that item is exist. 
so now let's see uh, here i will say peak after peak what have, what will happen let's see so num first initially the number of items are four good then we we dq 100 yes first element then we will have three so now the peak is giving you 50 means um, <clears throat> means the peak won't dq the element it just uh, display you what is coming that way you know um that 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 is that is why the count of um, q or q has three itself so it's not um, removing the element from the queue but it's it's giving and also we have another method i will show you um, contains so let's see i will i will create another one like this let's say if i want to find out okay the array has 40 or not so <clears throat> element element 40 exists okay we can use contains 40. so now here it will give you like uh, true or false let's see what will what it says so if if you see the element 40 exists is true so now i will say same thing you can you can you can think like what what if there is not there is that uh, number is not exist so if it it will give you false so this is where uh, like the contains come um so yeah i think these are these are few important uh, um, properties and methods in the queue in c sharp like uh, i hope uh, you understand if you have any questions on this queue or if you want to know about more about this uh, queue um, please leave a comment i will um, respond to your comment or i will uh, let you um, i will create a video on anything specific Thank you so much for watching guys. Um, please subscribe to my channel for more videos. Bye-bye.